some of you guys um, got to do this. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about reflecting the origin. Now, if you forget where the origin is at, the origin is that lovely point we call 0, 0. It's the intersection of the x and the y axis. All right. So if we're asking you to reflect the origin, here's going to be your rules that you're going to do. So you're saying, all right, so I need to reflect this point. Like before, we were reflecting these x and y axes. That was easy. But how am I going to reflect this line over this point? Well, let's go and look at the points, and I think I'll make it a lot simpler for you guys to understand. If I have a coordinate point and I want to reflect the origin, what that essentially is doing is reflecting the y-axis and reflecting the x-axis. So if you have a coordinate point and I say reflect about the origin, you're actually going to reflect both the x and the y-axis. All right. So let's go and see what that looks like. So if I have a is negative 4 comma 1, and I have b, ah, uh, sorry, and b is negative 2 comma 6. Well, therefore, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm going to reflect the origin, that now becomes 4 comma negative 1. And this now becomes uh, 2 comma negative 6. Does everybody see that? Yes? No? Yes. OK. So, so let's go ahead and, oh, sh ah, man, I keep on forgetting to write the names. That's a prime. That's b prime. Make sure you guys label these. Because when you draw them, you have to make sure you label your points. Because if you keep on forgetting to label the points on your graph, you're going to get marked down. I do not want that to happen, especially if you're getting the points right. But we have to make sure we understand what was our original points and what are our new transformed points. So now we just graph a prime and b prime. Although I want to pick a new color. I guess I'll do red again. So a prime is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, down 1. That's a prime. And then b prime is 2 down negative 6. OK? So that's what that point looks like reflected about the, y, about the origin. And what you guys can see is the point see how it's reflected over the y-axis. And then that point was reflected over the x-axis, right? Think about it. You do it like this, and then you went like that. Okay? And that's how you got to that point. But if you can't visualize it, don't worry about it. Just follow this rule, and you'll be good. Okay? All right. That's it for that one.